My name is Kiera, and this is my story. My eye conditions are, I have a couple of them, Aridia, Alphakia, Microophthalmia, and my latest one is glaucoma. When we found out that I had glaucoma, I it was so funny because I I was like, oh, well, if I take the eye drops, I don't have it. And then for a long time, I was like, nah, I'm just bored of glaucoma. And um, then I had to come to the... I had to come to reality and realize that, yeah, I have it. But it's okay because uh, I have to remind myself that having glaucoma doesn't mean the world's over. Uh, that It just means that here's a problem and here's a way to solve it. And so I've been solving it and um, I don't believe in giving up the first try. I believe that uh, that's, when you try... The majority of the time when you try, uh, if you if you believe in it and keep it up, then you're gonna you're gonna see the light at the end of the tunnel that you've been waiting on for so long. And uh, I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. So I do so much. Uh, I you know in spite of. Everything that goes on in my world, music always seems to be the best medicine to cure any type of hurt for me, any pain. And music is just music is my 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 ibuprofen and my patch and my my it's my passion. It's it's like it's my life. Without music, I wouldn't be able to express myself. And so I express myself through song, emotions. To me, music is so much more than lyrics. Music is music is so much more than just the song. The lyrics make it make it reality, and I enjoy every bit of music from when I write to captivating songs that people don't even realize that it could just win an award, but it means something. It means that it's that this particular song is going. It's happening in real life to someone, and we just think that they're just, it's just a song. That's how beautiful and, and magnificent music is, and I, I am so happy to share my talent with you. From elementary school throughout junior high, I was bullied because of my glasses. The way I looked. I was picked on for being fat and for having bubbles on my glasses. I was picked on because I had to sit at the front of the classroom. I had to use big paper. It got to the point to where I would ask uh, the kids around in elementary uh, if they were my friends. And I, I would do that throughout uh, junior high, sit and ask, well, are you my friend? At, at randomest times, you know, we it was normally after a laugh or something we had had, and I'd go, are you are you my friend? And they, they'd kind of hesitate and, and stuff, and uh, it was kind of, I mean, it wasn't that I didn't get the answer, but it was kind of like, well, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I guess. And one time I, I asked this, this one girl if she was my friend, and she she couldn't even say yes or no. She kind of just smiled in the lunch line. Junior high was a little bit uh, more intense bullying, only because you have more, I mean, not mature kids, but they're older, and so they kind of don't care. Everybody had their own little cliques, and, and um, so it was kind of like getting where you fit in. And, uh, you know, I used to hate to tell people that, uh, that I rode the little bus because telling somebody that you rode the little bus, they tend to would make fun of you, and they didn't call it the little bus; they called it the slow bus. And you did feel like you were slow. I was in remedial math, which they would call retarded math. I 
a rumor had got had, was it started spreading around and this one girl wouldn't be my friend anymore and I just I wanted her to be my friend I didn't mean to do whatever I had done and she she hated me she cussed me out after I tried to tell the truth about what happened she cussed me out she in front of the teacher she never got written up she was gonna fight me and I I wanted her to become my friend again and I did anything and everything possible I I would bring her things I lied just to, to have her my friend brought her candy it was it was crazy selfish stupid of me but I wanted to please someone a girl that you know, to please her, to do anything, I, it was terrible. I remember being in athletics and uh, they barely ever put me in anyway, but I'd be in athletics and uh, we'd be playing, and it was basketball, and they, but she finally put me in and my glasses had slung off my face. And I stopped and I was like, my glasses, my glasses, my glasses. I was screaming and like no body would stop at all. No, but it was like people didn't even care. Nobody would stop to see, I mean, and they heard me. I was like yelling. Nobody brought me my glasses until after the game uh, and they were crooked and that was it. I mean, and then, you know, something amazing happened that changed my life, like, forever. Hi, my name is Emily Newman. I go to the Texas School for the Emily is not like very many friends I've had. <laughs> she's really not. <laughs> um, but she's she's different. She's someone that I can't stay mad at and she's 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 beautiful from her voice to her personality. She we tell each other everything and it's you know, people like everything. There are no secrets whatsoever between us. And she she's someone special. Um, I text her, I think it's like you know, she's not you know, we text we text a lot. So she's she's very she's bubbly in her personality and I love that we can get so connected into a ridiculous topic and you know, she's it's still fun to her and it's like her personality is just like remarkable. She, you know, she's so much of what young girls should be. Uh, you know, she, there's nothing literally too big or too small for this kid to do, for this kid not to do. She is, she's incredible. She is amazing. And I am so grateful and thankful to call her my best friend. Um, we have been together for Oh, it's going to be three years this year we've been together. We are best friends. We've been together. Uh, we've known each other for going on three years, and I feel like I've known her forever. What a great person she is. What a people person she is. She is She's delightful, and she is what a lot of kids nowadays should be like. And I'm so honored to call her my friend because I believe that she is just incredible and fantastic and Whatever she puts her mind to it, she can do it. She's awesome. She's definitely been a positive impact on my stay here. I've been here three years, and the past two years have been wonderful with having her here. The love that... I have for my friends is so much more than any person could imagine. I I consider them my family. I have a problem with 
with I get attached to people so quickly and it it begins it gets bad because you're not always going to be by that person that you're close to or that you have that that really good connection with and um but these people these these guys make it worthwhile to be able to be at Texas School for the Blind and Visually Impaired and to feel the way that I do with these guys it's it's unpredictable it's like it's magical I mean of course we do get into arguments and splats and stuff but that's life everybody is gonna have a disagreement with their friends every once in a while it's like that's you wouldn't be true friends if you didn't you know what I mean and I am just so humbly blessed to be able to know these guys and to be able to to get to be able to see them every day on a daily basis to be able to hug them and tell them how awesome they are because these guys are awesome and I honestly don't know where I would be if it weren't for TSB they this place has literally changed my life for the better I've learned things that I probably wouldn't have learned in my regular school they changed my life. They brought up my self-esteem. They helped me become the beautiful, young, well-educated young woman that I am. And I cannot wait to show them when I graduate what I've become, what more I've become. And I couldn't have done it without them, their love and support and their 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 positivity toward me. It's, it's incredible from the staff to the teachers to the students. I love everybody and I am so attached and they mean the world to me. They literally do. They, they are incredible. Uh, from my, my twin sister Sierra to my amazing mother Lashida, like they are my everything. My mother has been through so much with us. And she has literally come out a strong human being. She is incredible, remarkable. She is fantastic. I look at my mother and I see a woman who who doesn't give up just because of past mistakes or regrets. My mother is a type of woman who I want to be when I grow up. My mother is she believes that just because she you go through something doesn't mean that has to define you for the rest of your life. We come out so strong. My mother is so supportive. Even when it comes to me and my music career, even if it me and, and trying to become an artist, she you know, she's always kind of like she's scared for us. But it's a good intention in her heart. Her selfless heart is beautiful. She puts others before herself and she she does the best she knows how to. And she's an incredible mother. And I wouldn't have it any other way. My mother is, is awesome. She is a great example of a hardworking individual. My mother gives her all to everything she loves. She gives her all to us and... How many parents can say they let their kids go far away, you know, to come live in Austin, you know, and she's just amazing. She's gone above and beyond for us. My mother and my sisters, my twin, are, we're incredible together. She is my rock, my better half.